On the one point that I'm claiming I, I conceded to you on, I do think it would be better if he did not <laughs> send out loudish, lowbrow tweets. But we don't agree on this. One must take the bitter with the sweet, the rough with the smooth. And if my choice is consultant created candidate talking nonsense or the guy who's going to build the wall, giving us really an unfiltered view of his brain with those tweets and retweets, we, and which we've never seen that? before. Don't you love yeah. that? You have this direct ready access into Donald Trump's mind. And sometimes it's terrifying. And other times <laughs> it's wonderful because yeah, you just- it's 90% fantastic. I, I mean, so the, 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 the retweet that we argued about last time, it's such a minor thing, which brings us to the recent retweet. And, uh, oh, come on, give me a break. This is people who don't understand Twitter. Mm -hmm. It was, it's a retweet. And mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Twitter shuts down. If I have to investigate the genesis <laughs> of everything, I tap a little button to retweet <laughs> this one thing on it. And by the way, after the, um, I have a great one for you. After this whole brouhaha over the retweet of the unattractive photo of Heidi Cruz. So I was doing some TV show. I'm sitting in the makeup chair, girl doing my makeup, totally covered with tattoos, totally not into <laughs> politics at all. And I'm chit chatting with her. I may have just come from your podcast or something, but I mentioned this retweet mm -hmm. and I said, well, it was just, you know, a silly retweet, but it's not. And she says to me, wait, it was a retweet. Those don't count. <laughs> and I thought, yes, the voice of the people. It's but a retweet. Is, but most people at home understand this. It's only the media, which is not populated by sensible adults. Like we meet <laughs> when we're out in the real world, it's populated by children. Yeah. And children take things out of context because they don't understand anything that's happening around that's them. That's a good point. And they're looking, you know, it's like they're looking for an excuse to have a go at mom or whatever it is. Right. You know? They don't understand context. They don't understand, you know, any of the things that nuances and shades and subtleties of meaning. And they twist, you know, things to make babyish points, you know, to persuade people they should be allowed to stay out late. Right. That's the media. No, like, right. that's what journalists yeah. do. Yeah, at least when it comes to Republicans. So they are all forgiving of... Yes. Of, of, of the other the, candidate, yes. which we will talk about in the second <laughs> half. <laughs> and, you know, the other thing about that alleged Star of David anti-Semitic, I saw it, it's just it, a it star. It looks have a, like it a used ad, you know. It wouldn't even have occurred to me. Sale that this it was, weekend, 4th of July do sale. Pe do people go into malls? I mean, is this right. what, because uh, this is not what I'm like, is this what other journalists are like? Do they walk down malls looking for stars a that are a particular, star, yeah. a six-point star and, be, and, and go into the, and ask the manager, how dare you associate right. this geometric pattern yes. with anything to do with money or corruption? You're an anti-Semite and I'm boycotting your store. Because without the crosses in the middle, if you don't see it drawn as two triangles, it doesn't it's really look like... It's just a star. It's just a it, look, open my, it, And you know, this it's is... like this, Starburst. This is, but this is the great thing about Trump. The, you know, he lives in so many people's heads rent-free. This is how you know that the level of control he exerts over people, whether <laughs> it is tweeting, I love Hispanics with the taco bowl. Oh, that was my favorite. And BuzzFeed calling up Trump tower just to check that they really do sell those and of course they I, do that was my favorite that's how much control he has over these idiots you yes. know? Um, <laughs> and this one is like what kind of a mind what is going on in your head when you see this and you're like, is that, a, is that, yes, it's a star of David. We can get him on this. Right. You know? And it's like, oh, and, and MSNBC, of course, are opening because, you know, people are saying, oh, it's just clip art. You know, it's just pull it. So MSNBC on television, this is a news network, <laughs> has got screenshots of what happens when you click the clip art button in Microsoft Office <laughs> because they want to know if Trump's campaign is telling the truth about how they got the star oh, on there. Grief. This is, I mean, it's funny, but it's sad, isn't it? Well, also, they tried to say, Yes, but it actually did come from an anti-Semitic, or as they're calling it, alt-right group. But two things. One is the guy himself who tweeted it immediately changed it to a circle. Now, I don't know any Nazis, but my guess is they do not... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you caught me. I'm changing it to a... No, they'd say, yeah, you're damn right. That's a Star of David. I think they might. 